What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning into the channel today. Now, some of you might be thinking after even clicking on this video already, like a review of the Habs scrimmage, really? <laughs> but you did click on it, right? So welcome and thanks for tuning in, guys. So yeah, just going to do a quick little review of the Team C versus Team D scrimmage. I did catch some of the one earlier this morning, but I really didn't catch that much of it at all. All I really remember from it was Cole Caulfield flying down the ice and not much else. So <laughs> and confirmed by some other folks that he did look very ready this uh in this little scrimmage this morning but uh, i'm going to go through this with you guys now before we do let's take a quick look at what the lineup was for each of these guys uh going to go and take a look at this very quickly with you on the habs website here uh not going to take up too much time because as we know uh you know there's advertisements on here so we can't take too much time for copyright sake but here's a look at team c at the very top all of your forward and defense pairings and uh, we'll talk about them specifically in just a moment. And then you got Team D just below here as well. This was a big mismatch. If uh, you guys did not get a chance to watch this, it was uh, quite the mismatch between these two um, between these two teams, if you will. It was basically the Canadians versus a lot of the Laval Rocket and some Canadians. So the standouts, though, from each team um, is from the red team here, which won the game four to one. If you really want to keep score, they were. Um, so Uri Slavkovsky, Raphael Harvey Pinard, Brandon Gallagher, Christian Dvorak, Arbor Jack Eye, and Jordan Harris. There may be some others that if you watched, you can tell me who else you thought stood out. Standouts from Team White, which was mostly the Laval Rocket and some of the Montreal Canadiens players. Uh, Yoel Armia, Jonathan Drouin, Corey Schooneman, Michael Pozzetta, and William Trudeau. So it was still fun to watch, though, because, I mean, the guys were competing. I mean, I don't think they were going uh, necessarily as hard as they will maybe on Monday against New Jersey in the first exhibition game. But um, it was still fun to watch some blurry little images that I took from my computer screen here of this little, uh, I don't know if it's intra-squad scrimmage is the right term for it, but there's Arbor Jack Eye at the top there. Definitely a standout. He had the first goal of this game, which I actually missed because I just tuned in right after it. But from what I saw, saw of him after that, he looked really good. And Arbor Jack Eye is going to get a lot of looks i think it's i think this is going to be really exciting to see what he looks like um specifically next week in the exhibition games as the regular season is getting closer and closer but i, I really am looking forward to seeing him play against nhl competition arbor jack and i think really all the guys but uh certainly he did he did stand out once again and, and not just because of his size and his uh toughness he didn't display much of his toughness i didn't really see many hits from him but saw some good puck handling uh keeping the puck in and really some dangles too. He had a nice little dangle. I made a note here. Where was it here? Uh, uh, Jack, I dangled around Alex Belzil. It was a nice little play. Uh, he had a couple nice chip plays up the boards. Um, and the goal scorers, Evgeny Dadnov, Arbor Jack, I, and then Raphael Harvey Pinard had the other two for Team Red. And then the only goal from Team White was Corey Schooneman on a beautiful feed from UL Armia and Jonathan Druin, actually. So that was the biggest standout play from them. Duran looked better as uh, as team as as the game went along. Uh, Jonathan Duran looked better and better. I thought he was playing with Jake Evans and Yoel Armia. Those guys looked okay together. I mean, if that was like a third, fourth, probably more of a fourth line. Hard to picture Duran on a fourth line with the Habs, but if it was, looked pretty decent overall. I thought he looked okay. I thought he looked good. Um, maybe I should pick one or the other, but anyway. So standouts from Team Red. So yeah, uh, Slavkovsky really stood out. Now. You can't evaluate this too much. Again, this is a scrimmage. He was playing against guys that are likely not going to play, most of them in the NHL. So it was nice to see some flashes, though, just to get some sort of fun content out of Slav. Um, still, cr still cutting across the middle of the ice a little bit, so we did notice that too. But two nice assists in this game, both to Raphael harvey Pinard. The one play at the very end of the game was a cross-ice feed to Jordan Harris, which then it resulted in a goal for Raphael harvey Pinard. So the vision was nice there. Again, just nice vision from Slav. Uh, did get some did get some shots off, but he did create quite a bit in the game. And again, I'm not trying to get uh, too high or too low on anything that goes on in in uh, you know rookie tournaments or scrimmages with the Habs. But it was just nice to see him stand out amongst the the crowd, and as it's going to continue to be. But I really think again, once we see him in exhibition games in the NHL, that's where we're going to get a better eye test for Slav. But also uh, Raphael Harvey Pinard, of course, looked good. Uh, Brendan Gallagher looked really comfortable, comfortable out there. Just looked like, 
I don't even know that he looked like his old self, but he had to, had a nice saucer pass. I noticed to to uh, Dadnov. Dadnov looked okay in this one as well. I didn't have him in this list, but Dadnov looked all right. He wasn't really, you know, standing out like crazy, but he did. He looked he looked positionally sound. He looked like he's in shape. Uh, Christian Dvorak looked really nice. Um, you know, just again, this this is inter squad stuff, but he looked comfortable. He was making some decent plays, positionally sound. Arbor Jack, I already talked about. Jordan Harris, I think, was one of my favorite players from this inter-squad game because he got a lot of ice time, and he really just looked good, and I just like the way he brings the puck up the ice, so maybe he can be a decent puck carrier, a good first-pass defenseman, I hope, but I, I just a guy who looks really comfortable. I haven't seen much of Justin Barron, but to me, if it's Justin Barron and Jordan Harris, I think Harris has the edge in making the Habs out of the gate. I haven't seen enough of, of uh, Justin Barron. I don't know if he played in this morning or not, so anyway, but... Out of what I saw from Jordan Harris, again, just looks really comfortable. Doesn't look, you know, panicked at all. Not, not, not making any bad plays. But again, this was a really unfair mismatch, guys. So I don't want to dive much more into it than that because this was a lot of AHL guys versus a lot of NHL guys, even if it was all Montreal Canadiens uh, players and AHL guys that will eventually maybe make the jump and have a look in the NHL from the Rocket. So take what you want from it. But that's all I really have for you. Um, and I had the standouts here that I already talked about. Uh, Justin Trudeau did stand out. Or Justin, oh my gosh. Uh, William Trudeau. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> William Trudeau stood out pretty good for Team White, considering they didn't have a lot of standouts because, again, not as skilled as Team Red. Corey Schooneman looked good on that nice snipe uh, feed, like I mentioned, from Armia and Druen. Druen and Armia uh, looked comfortable just doing their thing, but you know, happy to take on a leadership role on Team White, I'm sure, and showed some of the younger guys some stuff. But uh, they were the main standouts there. Other than that, that's pretty much all I had. So uh, it was fun to see some hockey, see some action here. And in just a, just a few days' time, we're going to get an exhibition game in. And then we're going to get another one right after the New Jersey game against the Leafs on Thursday, which will be on TV, which I'm going to be watching that one for sure. I'm not sure if I'll catch the New Jersey game. But anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts down below if you had a chance to catch any of the scrimmage or if you liked what you heard from my review here like i said not trying to get too high or too low on a scrimmage but it's just fun to talk about some sort of action with the habs some content right so that's why i felt like doing this today but anyways thanks so much guys as always we'll see you on the next one cheers